newly invented recycle technology to solve India-slash-world plastic pollution problem. Abstract in waste management, if non-degradable waste is set aside, the remaining waste can become compost, so plastic waste management is an important issue. The level of plastic pollution in the world is very high and the available technologies are unable to control it. So we focus on awareness, but since plastics are a necessity of the people, plastic pollution is rampant. With all these factors in mind, we researched plastic dams and WPPM technology. I, plastic dam technique, plastic dam is a unique technique in which without any pollution, air, water, and land, given solution on plastic pollution problem. Also water conservation possible, problem of plastic and water at a time solve with plastic dam technique. One plastic dam through 500 villages or 02 municipal councils or 20% municipal corporation possible to become plastic free. 2. Waste plastic product machine, Islamper Municipal Council, we are become role model of waste plastic product machine technology plant. Bello 100 micron, any types of waste plastic can without segregation be processed to become plastic products like plastic bricks, road divider, paver block etc. This plastic bricks to constructed first plastic wall in Jammu and Kashmir. Bricks can be used as an insulation wall for social purpose. This technology invent in manual, semi-automatic and automatic type for the purpose of works according availability of plastic waste. The important thing is that, these are two different technologies that will play an important role in controlling plastic pollution in the future. In my opinion it is impossible to control global plastic pollution through awareness. So why do we want to bring plastic waste control project to the world? According to this project, choosing a polluted city, implementing plastic waste management through available technologies and new innovative technologies, copy paste it in every city in the country with the help of the government after it becomes a role model in terms of clean city model. Thus India is our PWCP for the country and the world. In this research paper PWCP is explained about India. Our slogan is final step towards cleanliness. Keywords plastic dam, waste plastic product machine, WPPM technology, plastic waste control project, waste management, Bharat Swakta Kendra, recycle technology, recycle plastic, permanent recycle, municipal waste. Water Conservation, Employment I. Introduction A. Side Selection B. Environmental Season Selection C. Plastic Waste Selection Plastics have become a big problem today. In India alone, 25,490 tons of plastic is prepared every day. This would amount to 9.5 million tons per year. Significantly, According to the report of the Central Pollution Control Board, India, 40% of plastic waste in the country of 25,490 tons i.e. 10,340 tons of garbage was not raised. Plastics of 15,342 tons of large 60 cities are prepared every day, out of which 9,205 tons of plastic is reused. The remaining 6,137 tons of material is made. The top five cities in India generates plastic waste as Delhi, 689 tons, China, 429 tons, Kolkata, 425 tons, Mumbai, 408 tons, and Bengaluru, 313 tons. According to a report by UN Environment, 300 million tons of waste plastic is being prepared on Earth every year. Presently we are polluting the ocean with around 12.7 million tons of plastic a year. Over 1 million marine animals, including mammals, fish, sharks, turtles, and birds, are killed each year due to plastic debris in the ocean. There is a serious plastic problem. On that problem, Sachin Deshmukh, Sangli, has revised the invention as a plastic dam and waste plastic product machine. This efficient measure is for this reason any kind of plastic without segregation assembled at the garbage depot can be processed directly into the machine such as plastic bricks, paver block, tree guards, 
milestones etc. Also remaining unprocessed municipal waste plastic use in plastic dam. If the plastic waste control project of such in Deshmuk becomes a part of the campaign like Swat Bharat Abhiyan, Rural Development Campaign, Clean India Campaign etc. The plastic which gets garbage gets 10 rupees per kg, then above 5000 CR rupees employment can be prepared for poor people. To prove all this, Sachin Deshmukh created the role model of his modification Islampur municipality. He has invented technology of waste plastic product machine, plastic dam, and has brought him in front of the Deshmukh plastic waste control project in front of the country. Islampur Municipal Corporation under process approximate 1.2 tons waste plastic and to make 800 bricks. This bricks to create plastic wall in Jammu and Kashmir. This plastic to in feature can be make living accommodation in zero degree area in JNK. Here two benefits gives a plastic bricks a, block a waste plastic in usable form and b, block an environmental temperature. Inside this waste plastic product machine, any type of machine has an important process. Start the machine and pay attention to the heat required for this process. In this machine, we only use to make waste plastic products. Therefore, the less time there is plastic, the better the results. E.g. After a market is over, the collected plastic will show the result of the product being several times better than the plastic lying on the waste depot in the environment for many years. The specialty of this machine process is that the less the size of the plastic, the better the result. The temperature of the machine is adjusted according to the collected plastic. When there is plastic inside the heating chamber after putting the plastic in the machine, the plastic changes its original state by heating. By changing the state of matter, it moves towards holding the fluid state but does not transform into liquid. This state shows the properties of both matter and fluid, it is called semi-liquid state. This state comes with temperature set as average temperate bed softening point and melting point of processed plastic in heating chamber. In this machine, every type of plastic holds its own state during the process in the heating chamber. Due to this, in a short time, a plastic unsymmetrical ball which has entered the heating chamber becomes a ball. The production that we want to make will be put in the same set. To bring that plastic sphere into the correct shape of production, more pressure is pressed against the hydraulic pressure. So that the production remains top class. In this process, the waste plastic lying on the earth has the effect of the type of atmosphere, the plastic junk. Production has to be made according to the plastic available. If the plastic that is processed in the machine is produced, its production is made. If plastic does not become production able, the finished production is made into a slider, plastic or sand or pebble shaped machine, made into rams or pebbles and used in road. Here we give strong solution on plastic pollution problem in the form of plastic dam. This plastic dam constructing on small water sources like rivers, storm etc. This dam to any types of plastic waste permanently blocked, also water conservation aim can be achieved. Poor peoples and farmers can be complete his basic needs. Municipal and industry waste plastic can be directly used in dam with compressed form. And here no required any type S segregation. PWCP required for this project work with one defined structure and discipline. This invention to possible financial demand to zero value plastic like less than 100 micron packing plastic waste. Waste plastic permanently blocked in dam. Cost of dam very less and construction method very easy. Water conservation can be possible. So this invention capable to control not only for India but overall world plastic pollution problem. To control it, we invented the plastic dam technique. When this technology comes in front of people, then three important things will happen for this country. I, plastic block on dam for permanently two, the water problem in that place will be solvent three, the country and environment will be free from plastic pollution. This is my important role behind this amendment. This is not only a measure of plastic pollution in India but in the entire world, and if the plastic is removed from the waste, the rest of the garbage can become fertilizer, that is, 
completes cleanliness. Therefore, the slogan of this amendment has been final step towards cleanliness. 2. Plastic Dam Plastic has become a major problem in front of India and the whole world. Plastic it causes water, land, and air pollution. Researcher such in Deshmukh on such plastic pollution has found a solution in the form of plastic dams. This research has been going on since July 2014. It is the world's first plastic dam being built in Sangli Maharashtra, India. Plastic Dam This research is significant in that we are eliminating about 10 to 15 tons of plastic in plastic dams indefinitely without polluting any kind of water, plastic, air, and land. In addition, this research also promotes water conservation with plastic pollution. Average less than 10 lakh rupees have been spent in making plastic dams. And it has taken less than two months to make this dam. Plastic dams are a common solution to the problem of plastic in cities and water problem in villages. Most important of all, any type of plastic is used in this dam also use any types of non-biodegradable waste like rubber, glass etc. There is no need for waste plastic segregation. Inventions are patent registered. Plastic pollution is a major problem, and the measures taken to eliminate it today are not enough. Also, the important thing is that today, employment opportunities are not created to eliminate plastic. These have been brought to light by researcher Sachin Deshmukh. Sachin chose Aravid village to make plastic dams. The village Sarpanch and eminent citizens welcomed the plastic dam research and the construction of the dam began from October 25th. 2019 and will be completed by December 30, 2019. It costs 5 lakh rupees. He started construction of the dam with financial and administration support of public and municipality. And finally world's first plastic dam make in India. The capacity of plastic dam can be more than 1.5 million liters. The dam is being constructed at Aravid Manjard Road, Sangli, Maharashtra. In this plastic dam, 5 tons of plastic from the waste depot of Islampur Municipal Council, 8 tons of plastic from the waste depot of Karad Municipal Council, 4.5 tons of waste plastic from about 148 villages in Walway and Kadeje on Tessils, total 17.5 tons of plastic. Certificates are mentioned as below. With the help of plastic dams are solved forever. The world's first plastic dam has been built in Arawade village, which has created a satisfying atmosphere in the village. According to the reviser Sachin Deshmuk, if the price of waste plastic is raised to Rs 10 per kg, then more than Rs 5000 CR employment opportunities can be created for poor people. Collected plastic utilized in the plastic dam without pollution, water conservation, and plastic will get 100% solution. Today, water, land, and air are prone to plastic pollution everywhere. Today India does not need to clean the entire India, to clean plastic pollution. If you select a district, any city, make that district plastic pollution free, and when a formula is created, by copy-pasting it across the country, India will become plastic pollution free. According to the idea of Deshmukh Reduce, reuse and recycle these ideas which are trying to control plastic pollution, are not enough. Accordingly, plastic pollution control is not possible. Therefore, he has done research on waste plastic product machine, WPPM technology, and plastic dam technique to bring research to the people. The reason behind this background is to provide employment opportunities to eliminate plastic, Permanent recycle the plastic is an alternative to plastic discharge. In particular, through their technology it is possible to free plastic from pollution without harming the environment. I. Construction method of plastic dam. Plastic dam is a new concept so following factors mainly important when construction of plastic dam. This invention have two purpose, first is solve problem if waste plastic and water conservation. During implement of this project side selection is very important. When dry area where people suffered water problem and there no any water conservation related protect. This place is mostly valuable for this project. Every municipal corporation area under found such villages, 
their found water problem. Impotent is waste plastic management is problem of municipal corporation and unavailability of water is problem of farmer s. So during side selection note that solve both problems. This dam construction is mainly in winter or summer season. After construction, required some period for set plastic and other material in dam. Also foundation required so strong because plastic is non-biodegradable material, life of plastic is more than supporting base and column constructing. So without any natural obstacles, dam can be built up possible in winter or summer season only. So I can t suggest rainy season for plastic dam construction. In case of most required to block plastic in rainy season then without purpose of water conservation safe side select and construct the plastic dam. Plastic waste is one of big problem in front of industry and municipal corporation. So two types of plastic available one, old plastic, two, fresh plastic. Old plastic is can t be recycle and block in landfill since so many years. So such types of plastic available with plastic and non-biodegradable waste. This plastic as it is use in dam construction. Here no required to use additional more density material than water. But fresh plastic can be segregate and it capable to compress through baling machines and to make bales. Also other biodegradable material can be used as a fertilizer. Layer system use for such compressed plastic use in dam. Plastic layer after use more density material like stone, sand etc. In the form of next layer. D. Plastic dam management. When building a plastic dam, it is very important that its entire management is predefined. When manufacturing plastic dam according to PWCP, it should be divided into two departments. One. Plastic Management Department and 2, Plastic Dam Construction Department. In this way, if the management is divided into two sections, the plastic will be recycled properly and the plastic dam site will come up from the BSK Center. Collection of Plastic Waste under Plastic Management Department. If BSK platform is ready on Municipal Waste Depot, it will be the responsibility of Plastic Management Department and Garbage Depot Management Department. Filling plastic waste bags or compacting them in one place by hydraulic bailing machine with excessive pressure to form lumps of a certain size, square, rectangular. This process should be done in the BSK at the waste depot or in the city by a company which is engaged in other rubbish bailing business. The main role of plastic dam construction department is to erect the structure according to the process of plastic dam with the help of cement concrete in the first step at the place determined by BSK. Also, after setting the plastic in the concrete structure prepared by this department, in the second step, close the upper side of the dam with the help of concrete. Provide support to the plastic dam on both sides as per construction procedure. If both sides of the flow container are weak, provide proper support with the help of stone and concrete. In case of flooding on the plastic dam while constructing this support, it is necessary to have a special door facility to drain the excess water. In this way the work of plastic dam will be completed. If this plastic dam is prepared as per government procedure, inform the BSK department and open it to the public. If the work of the dam is done through social work, notice of completion of the plastic dam should be given to the community representative who is planning to build the plastic dam. In this way plastic dam will be constructed in a proper and disciplined manner. 2. Construction method and types of plastic dam. There are three ways to build a plastic dam. Simple plastic dam, regular plastic dam and prime plastic dam which type of plastic dam to build depends on availability of plastic waste, financial budget and selection of plastic dam side etc. Also procedure for dam to recycle the plastic is same. A. Construction Methods Plastic Dam I. Foundation Foundation of plastic dam making with strong rigid material which density higher than water, like cement concrete foundation. 2. Column and shearing wall Purpose of column and shearing wall is well support to compressed material inside it. Important role is age of plastic more than use material in column and shearing wall, so this structure makes as minimum 35 years can t require any maintenance. 
after time period maintain according next 30 year. Period of reconstruction of simple, regular and prime plastic dam is 12 year, 35 year and 60 years. 3. Beam support of plastic dam. Plastic material compressed during support both sides shearing walls. Beam to give support to column and dam divided in compartment form. Upper side of dam close with plain cement concrete. 4. Plastic paper use between shearing wall and compressed throughout plastic material. We know, in India create 26,000 tons of waste plastic every day. And millions tons of plastic already available in the form of municipal landfill. So toxic material possible in plastic. So purpose of softy, plastic paper use between shearing wall and compressed material. Compressed plastic and high density material fill up in the form of layer. Plastic dam is an easy structure and makes according our requirement. Plastic dam construction during foundation, column, and shearing wall permanently fixed with concrete. Remember this dam build up on small water sources so, force of water on plastic dam very less. Plastic in the form of baling and layer wise fill up in plastic dam. Material like stone, sand, soil etc which more density than water use above layer of plastic. Between the shearing wall and compressed plastic with other material use 300 to 500 micron plastic paper. Simple plastic dam upper side covered with cement concrete or arrangement of concrete plats of locking system. In regular and prime type plastic dam, above layer covered with concrete. So here plastic is blocked in dam permanently. B. Types and detailed information about plastic dam. Plastic dam constructed in three types simple plastic dam, regular plastic dam and prime plastic dam. 1. Simple plastic dam. A simple plastic dam is a dam constructed by assembling concrete pillars, concrete plates and other materials available in the market at a designated flow site. This plastic dam can be a maximum width of 15 to 25 feet. The concrete common and plates required for this are already available in the market and they are currently being used for fencing. The concrete column will be 6 feet by 6 feet and will be 10 feet high. The base of the column in the dam will be 4 feet and the height will be 6 feet. After the column is erected, the concrete plates between the two columns will be set interlocking. The length, width and height of these concrete plates are 6 feet, 2 inches and 2 feet respectively. Modifications between concrete pillars and plates are possible in the future to increase the strength of the dam. Once the structure of simple plastic dam is ready, it will be possible to recycle about 2 to 5 tons of waste plastic. This dam can hold water above 5 lakh liters. The construction of the dam can cost up to Rs 2 lakh. The lifespan of plastic dam is fixed at 12 years as per BSK. The speed of water flow is slow and the width of the stream is up to a maximum of 50 feet. The dam to be built at that place is called regular plastic dam. Many such artificial and natural streams of water can be seen mainly in the villages. These include streams, 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 etc. At this point the columns and the supporting structure connecting them will be built on the plastic dam site with the help of proper setting. The size of the column will be 9 inches by 9 inches and its base will be 6 feet and height from ground level will be 8 feet. The wall supporting the column will be 6 feet long, 4 inches wide and 2 feet high each. After placing the plastic in the concrete structure of the resulting plastic dam, supporting structure will be constructed on both the sides of the structure. An important feature of this structure will be to provide necessary support to the dam in case of excess flooding of the stream and to have a special gate facility for excess water to flow. A maximum of 10 tons of waste plastic should be used in a regular plastic dam. The construction of this dam can cost up to R07 locks. The regular plastic dam has a water storage capacity of more than 1.5 million liters and a maximum lifespan of 35 years. If the flow of water is fast and the width is up to a maximum of 80 feet, the dam to be constructed at that place is called prime plastic dam. After determining the side of the dam, centering will be done and column and supporting wall of prime plastic dam will be created. 
we see small rivers and streams all around us. In Maharashtra, the scheme of water-rich Shivar is being implemented on the same type of water flow. Prime plastic dams can be constructed at the places where water-rich Shivar dams are applicable. At this point the column and the supporting structure connecting them will be built on the dam site with the help of proper setting. The size of the column will be 12 inches by 12 inches and its base will be 8 feet and height from ground level will be 10 feet. The wall supporting the column will be 6 feet long, 6 inches wide and 2 feet high. After placing the plastic in the concrete structure of the resulting plastic dam, supporting structure will be constructed on both the sides of the structure. An important feature of this structure will be to provide necessary support to the dam in case of excess flooding of the river as well as to have a special gate facility for excess water to flow. A maximum of 15 tons of waste plastic should be used in prime plastic dam. The construction of this dam can cost up to Rs 12 lakhs. The prime plastic dam has a water storage capacity of more than 25 lakh liters and a maximum lifespan of 60 years. C important effects generating with plastic dam invention. 1. The plastic dam is going to be a big solution for the problem of plastic in urban areas and agriculture and drinking water in rural areas. 2. This invention solved many questions of Swak Bharat Abhiyan. Also gives big role in plastic waste free world movement. 3. The cost of this dam is less than Rs 10 lakh and takes less than 2 months to make. 4. If the price of zero value plastic is to be at least Rs 10 per kg, then the employment above Rs 5000 CR is going to be ready for the poor people. This dam will generate employment of about 1.5 lakh rupees from waste plastic for poor peoples. 5. There is no pollution in the plastic dam when using plastic. This means it is pollution free technique. 6. Plastic dams will start conserving water in future. 7. Due to the general cost of plastic dams, construction of such dams is possible from the public. 8. Small rivers, drains that are up to 80 feet in width, have made this dam a place which is environmentally important. 9. This dam can give an average of 500 villages relief from plastic pollution at a time. 10. First plastic dam in the world constructed in Aravatsangli, India. D. Some provisions regarding the future of plastic dam. A. Importance of reconstruction of concrete plastic dam structure after decided years. While doing non-biodegradable waste management, we are constructing simple, regular, and prime types of plastic dams. This will solve the problem of waste management not only of the country concerned but of the entire world. But one thing is important to keep in mind here. We are going to compress plastic and other non-biodegradable waste with a high hydraulic press machine and use it in a plastic dam. The lifespan of plastic waste in this place will be higher than the concrete plastic dam structure constructed. Therefore, after the construction of the plastic dam, its lifespan will be determined by the BSK team. It is important to build a second concrete plastic dam structure that supports the concrete structure of the plastic dam, five years before the expiration date of the concert structure of the plastic dam. In this place, supporting structure of simple plastic dam needs to be reconstructed every 15 years, supporting structure of regular plastic dam every 35 years, and supporting structure of prime plastic dam every 60 years. Also, if the waste material used in the plastic dam is largely decomposed during the reconstruction, a new layer of compressed non-biodegradable waste should be laid in the plastic dam and the plastic dam should be reconstructed as before. b. Rapid decomposition of waste plastic in plastic dam. Large amount of waste in plastic in a plastic compress form set in a very small space to strengthen the dam. I have noticed that there are some fungi and larvae that can live on plastic. If this is true, then I believe that if such fungi and larvae are used in setting up plastic in a plastic dam, we can significantly reduce the time it takes for plastic waste to decompose. C. Transportation from plastic dam. The information presented in this dissertation is about plastic dams, plastic recycling, and water conservation purposes. Suppose this plastic dam is to be used for vehicle S transportation in future, then the design of the plastic dam also needs to be changed for that purpose. D. 
effect on India with plastic dam. In India, if implement plastic dam technique in rural level, millions of ton waste plastic use for water conservation purpose. In the world, billions of ton plastic available in the form of waste and no any option available for recycle to it. Also plastic production can t be stopped. So every day add millions of ton plastic on earth. At last this plastic responsible for water, land, and air pollution. Also global warming. Much dangerous disease for animals and peoples etc. So this plastic without pollution block in the form of plastic dam then pollution as it is stopped also achieve water conservation target. Some projected details are mentioned in Bellow. As a recyclable solution and utilization of an end product for a public requirement inventor such in Deshmukh has developed a waste plastic product machine technology, wherein the plastic waste is recycled to form products like bricks which are utilized in making footpath, paver block, road divider etc. A. Details and type of WPPM technology. According to availability of plastic, three ways to manufacture a machine. 1. Manual Waste Plastic Product Machine 2. Semi-Automation Waste Plastic Product Machine 3. Automation Waste Plastic Product Machine The invention WPPM technology, capable to control air, water, land pollution problem which creating by waste plastic. This machine work on golden theory of waste plastic material. Golden theory of waste plastic material machine small in size or large size doesn't matter, also how many creating heat doesn't matter. But waste plastic must be take a required heat and it convert its original solid stage into liquid stage but not become liquid. It stage in between solid and liquid stage. In this period can be given required shape of waste plastic and properties of created products use in our normal life. This theory called golden theory of waste plastic material. Till this date manual and semi-automation machine completed and automation machine has under R&D. This is only one technology which directly wastes plastic process without segregation. Also this is user-friendly technology, so it can be used in home, apartment, colony, cantonment, municipal corporation according to waste plastic generated capacity. I. Manual WPPM plastic create in home slash apartment up to Rs 10 kg per day, manual machine used, and create products like tree guards, paving block etc. Effect is small entity having plastic waste destroy in that particular place, not depends upon municipal corporation for processing the plastic waste. C colon backslash users backslash admin backslash desktop backslash plastic waste control project backslash slide 2.jpg. 2. Semi-automation WPPM plastic create in cantonment slash colony slash villages slash sectors as 50 to 100 kilograms per day, semi-automation machine used and create products like tree guards, paving block, road divider etc. Small municipal corporations and gram panchayat s can be plastic free with semi-automatic machine. 3. Automation WPPM plastic creates in cities, municipal corporations as one ton and above per day, automation machine used and to create products like tree guards, paving block, road divider etc. This machine is under R&D. 4. Machine Products New Microsoft PowerPoint Presentation Any types of WPPM capable to create products? Plastic processing capacity is different but procedure is same. This machine is converting large space of waste plastic into very small space in the form of plastic products. Plastic bricks, paving block, road divider, tree guard, are some examples of products. V. First plastic wall constructed from municipal waste plastic. Islamper Municipal Corporation under process approximate 1.2 tons waste plastic and to make 800 bricks. This bricks to create plastic wall in Jammu and Kashmir. This is first plastic wall all over world which created form waste plastic to created plastic bricks. This plastic to in feature can be make living accommodation in zero degree area in J and K. This waste plastic to created wall works as insulation wall and cut the environmental temperature between inner and outer side. 
Also peoples can be using this formula for the purpose of leaving accommodation and save form cold temperature. Here two benefits gives a plastic bricks a, block a waste plastic in usable form and b, block an environmental temperature. 6. Plastic waste segregation and processing. According to this technology, no need of segregation of plastic with its size, shape, properties etc. Here 10 to 100 micron, plastic will process in machine. If the plastic is old or not clean position then it doesn't matter but if plastic having mud, food material, sanitary napkin etc. then it required separating, and after washing, it can be process in machine. During plastic process in machine, not required to mix any additional solution for joint the plastic. Also not required to crashing process purpose of cutting the plastic. In short process is simple, dump the plastic according to product weight and directly process in machine and makes products. A. First plant of WPPM technology start under Islampur Municipal Corporation. Deshmukh started PWCP plant at Islampur Municipal Corporation as a pilot basis on October 20, 2018. Chief Officer Deepak Zinzad given permission and other plant regarding help to him. This plant start at Islampur Garbage Depot where gathered all types of plastic which collected through Municipal Corporation. All plant work with Municipal Corporation, only WPPM technology work there with form of semi-automation machine. Proofs shown in certificate, 2. B. Maharashtra Pollution Control Board issue NOC to this important project. Plastic pollution is dangerous problem but here with WPPM technology converting into valuable product. This technology is creating very negligible pollution compared with presently creating pollutions. So Maharashtra Pollution Control Board issue orange status consent to establish certificate for his technology pilot plant. Technology processing during plastic is not fire, only his solid state converting into semi-liquid state in presence of heat. Properties of plastic not change. And after hydraulic press through create products. C. Required test and reports. Waste plastic to created products have a crushing strength depends upon its shape, size, and properties. So according to requirement, we can be making products. This technology to created products displacement is depends upon given load on that product. So graph of this two points are not cut and this properties we can be used for products. D. Compressive strength test. Compressive strength of brick is above 24 and slash mm2. Proof shown in certificate 2. E. Water absorption test. The water absorption test is negligible. F. Semi-liquidating point test. The test was conducted using ring and ball apparatus and glycerin instead of distilled water. The test was aborted at 1400 C. The salient features of this machine and products are as below. A. Easy availability of waste plastic as raw material. B. Life of plastic blocks is more compared to normal bricks. C. Plastic wall made of plastic bricks works as an insulation partition with temp on the inner and outer side. That can be used in cold and warm areas like J and K and Rajas than areas. D. Strength of plastic products, 24N slash MM2, is more than normal bricks, 3N slash MM2, softening point is average 1400 Celsius of products. E. Waste plastic is blocking permanent in any particular product shape for permanently, here not issue of recycle, reduce and reuse. 4. Plastic Waste Control Project, PWCP. Plastic is a boon for the world, in the form of plastic pollution is also proving curse. Today, more than 25,000 tons of waste plastic are being manufactured in India every day. The result is that Gaza per landfills are going to become mountains of garbage. Due to this poor plastic burning, air pollution, Throwing into river or sea is causing water pollution and land pollution in the form of landfill. According to a report by UN Environment, 300 million tons of waste plastic is being prepared on Earth every year. The governments of every country are trying to deal with this pollution. Sometimes, plastic was also banned. 
but that has never been possible, because plastic has become a necessity of the people today. And the plastic ban affects all the plastic-related industries. Today when we talk about earning from waste, we see waste as raw material. If we see any problem as raw material then how will the jobs be prepared? It is very important to start creating jobs to finish plastic to control pollution. In this, the jobs of the people go away, but the government and the plastics industry also lose CR of rupees. And nothing is gained from the plastic ban. That is why the government insists on making awareness, but plastic has become a necessity of people today. Plastic is used for packing in all industry sectors. If using plastic instead of paper in that plastic packaging will increase the amount of tree cutting, it is even more harmful for the environment. There is a possibility of breakage by using mud. If using plastic, more than 25,000 tons of waste plastic is prepared in India every day. The industry waste in it gets recycled, but the municipal waste prepares plastics, mountains of huge waste. That is why dealing with plastic pollution is becoming very frightening. From October 2, 2014, Swak Bharat Abhiyan is being run in India. But until the waste is turned into compost without the non-biodegradable waste in the waste, proper waste management cannot be done. That is why the mission related to cleanliness seems to be failing. After considering all these issues, we amended the limitation-free plastic dam mechanism. Now we have systems capable of handling plastic pollution, it includes systems like plastic road, plastic dam, injection molding machine, WPPM tech, plastic pyrolysis to fuel. But there is no role model capable of running it in a disciplined manner. That is why we started the Plastic Waste Control Project. Plastic Waste Control Project is explained as newly invented technology s and available technologies used under one platform purpose of plastic waste management, and to become one plastic free clean city model. After become successful model implement in every city s in our country to makes clean India. The plastic is part of requirement. So we can t avoid them. Every country tired from plastic pollution. Government try to stop problem, so it creating many rules, but it s not affected in human mentality. Here PWCP given direction to protect our country from plastic pollution problem, in which 1. Collection and segregation of waste plastic. 2. Clean India mission under create waste administration branch Bharat Swakta Kendra. 3. Clean city model create for direction for clean India. In this concept plastic is set as like place which is recent requirement of people. Now I am given example of India, to how protect from plastic pollution problem. Here plastic waste management model explain with table 1, and I know all worlds except our technique, because this is requirement of world. A. Collection and segregation of waste plastic. Waste plastic is becoming a big problem for the world every day. And to control it, we have modified the plastic waste control project. In which collection and segregation of waste plastic is very important part. Under PWCP, the collection and segregation of waste plastic is divided into the following sections. 1. Pricing waste plastic economically. 2. Setting people-centric awareness setting up folk-centered awareness towards waste plastics. 3. Changing the currently running municipal corporation pattern and NGO's plastic collection system. A. Pricing waste plastic economically. Today, the country and the world are adopting many routes to control the plastic waste. Such as banning plastics or segregation according to the type of waste, etc. In these ways neither plastic has been controlled, nor has it been segregate. The result is that mountains of garbage have started to form, and that is the reality. According to the PWCP, if the price is to be given to the average plastic at Rs 10 per kg, then every day, poor people and rag pickers in their country will get an annual employment of more than Rs 5000 CR. By the way, even today the waste plastic has a price, but plastic is going to be recycling, like plastic above 100 micron. But most of the plastic which is used in packaging below 100 microns does not have any value. 
the same plastic goes on to become pollution, and causes air, water, and land pollution. b. Setting up folk-centered awareness towards waste plastics. Plastic is the need of the people today and we cannot reduce it, but it can raise public awareness. This step is very important for us to control the plastic waste coming out of the house, apartment, colony, village, and city. According to PWCP, the role of every countryman is that the men have to keep the left pocket of their pants and the ladies have a compartment of their purse, to keep the waste plastic using their own. This may include plastic packing of food items, carry bags, etc. After that plastic waste has to be put in the proper dustbin. Home, apartment, colony to arrange plastic waste for throwing plastic dustbin. After collecting more plastic, you can buy Bharat Swakta Kendra for 10 rupees per kg. C. Changes to the ongoing municipal corporation pattern and NGOs plastic collection method. Municipal corporation and NGOs will start getting only plastic after waste plastic gets the price. After that, special transportation will have to be arranged to collect plastic. It will be much easier for the municipal corporation to manage the plastic that has been assembled and the problem of segregation will also be solved. After getting the price for waste plastic, the way people start collecting, the employees or volunteers of municipal corporation and NGOs will also start benefiting financially. That is why it is important to motivate and encourage them towards plastic waste too. After getting the plastic CO economic price under collection and segregation under PWCP, people will start coming to plastic appointed place, BSK. For economization, the scrap men will start to take even a small amount of plastic. This will prove to be a very important step to control the plastic and get rid of segregation. B. Bharat Swakta Kendra Bharat Swakta Kendra is a platform designed for the complete management of assembled plastics in PWCP. The main objective of BSK is to hand over the waste from the collected waste plastics to the waste plastics scavengers, to recycle the non-cost but recyclable waste plastics as per the capacity of BSK. This includes making products from plastic according to WPPM technology, making granules from waste. Plastic according to injection molding machine, crushing plastic for use in rods, making fuel from plastic, plastic pyrolysis process. When plastic is recycled in this way, it will be used for the welfare of the people. Such as, in public garden, roadside pavement, tree guard etc. But when the condition of waste plastic at the waste depot is first understood, it is understood that most of the waste plastic is lying in the mud, or it is very old. This type of non-recyclable waste plastic will be hydraulically pressed into bundles with the help of a machine with a capacity of more than 50 tons. And will be used in the construction of plastic dams. BSK will be an important step in bringing the now available and newly invented plastic recycling technology on one platform. BSK will be a platform that connects all levels in terms of cleanliness. This will include Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Samatai, Nagar Palika, Zilla Parishad, Mahanagar Palika, State Government, Central Government etc. Each of the levels will have different procedures but the objective will be to eliminate non-biodegradable waste. A. Requirement of BSK People need to use plastic. Similarly, Managing plastic waste is also our moral responsibility. But when it comes to plastic waste management, there are a lot of challenges. The biggest problem is the segregation of plastic waste. Water pollution is caused by people throwing plastic into the water, thousands of hectares of land are covered with plastic land pollution, burning it to eliminate plastic is causing air pollution by mixing toxic elements from many plastics into the air. Waste plastics are also contributing to climate change. Against this backdrop, the government is taking measures like plastic ban, single-use plastic ban. But it has no effect. This is because plastic is an invisible and very complex issue. The other side is that the government does not have as much management system as it should. That's it. According to today's system, the government makes waste plastics available for recycling for very little money or for zero money. 
The aim is to create employment by using waste plastic as a raw material and making products from it. But plastic management can never be done according to this method. For this, PWCP wants to bring forward the idea that jobs should be created to eliminate waste plastics and this will be possible through the BSK platform. B. Procedures of Bharat Swakta Kendra BSK will be a division of local self-governing bodies, including Gram Panchayat, Municipal Council, Municipal Corporation, Zilla Parishad, Panchayat Samatai etc., under the Sanitation Department. BSK will be fully managed by the Sanitation Department. Today in India, Swak Bharat Abhiyan, Swak Maharashtra Abhiyan, Gram Swakhata Abhiyan are the campaigns being run at the state and national level. So that building the foundation of BSK will not be very difficult. Nature of Bharat Swakhata Kendra I, according to the collection and segregation method of Bharat Swakta Kendra, rag picker, poor people, giving away collected plastics by the workers, will be the means or the media to accept their financial benefits in return. While managing plastics in these places, certain rules and regulations need to be followed while conducting financial transactions. For example, after people give plastic in BSK, tokens should be given at Rs 10 per kg according to their weight. The token amount should be paid after depositing the token in the office of BSK department. 2. Under BSK, administrative work will be done from BSK office at Waste Depot. 3. BSK's recycling plant will also have the option to run on an annual tender base. 4. The primary objective will be to eliminate and recycle plastic waste through BSK and the tenders will be issued for the same. After the plastic is recycled, it will be mandatory for the local self-government to buy the products at a fixed price. It should be used in public welfare work in public place. V. BSK According awareness in peoples regarding plastic waste management is I am given help to create Clean India, and appeal that, play self-role for Clean India mission. 1. Role of every person, every Indian use left side pocket of pant and women one compartment of parse for manage the self-creating plastic, and put it in right place, non-biodegradable waste bucket. Two. Role of every family, a waste plastic create from home, family that gathered in one bucket and after earn money as per Rs 10 slash kg through Bharat Swakhata Kendra. One bucket in home reserve for only non-biodegradable waste collection like plastic, glass, rubber etc. Here plastic have a rate other material give the person as a waste. C. Nature and role of running BSK. Today a nationwide campaign like Swak Bharat Abhiyan is underway. From the Gram Panchayat level to the state government, the government of India is active in this. Therefore, running waste management department will not be very difficult. Let us now review the role and nature of BSK at each level. A. Role of Gram Panchayat India has approximately 6 lakh villages and 68% of the country's population lives in villages. According to this, the total average of small and big villages is 2,000 to 5,000. The amount of plastic waste coming out of the village is also very low. Therefore, BSK will be formed at Talathai Gramzavak level at Gram Panchayat level. The Gram Panchayat will decide on a specific place or room for storing plastic waste at this place. Gram Panchayat employees will accept plastic waste and in return Talathai Gramzavaks will pay Rs 10 poor. KG to the villagers. The collected plastic waste can be processed by WPPM at Bharat Swakta Kendra to make its paver block or put it in bags. The plastic will be stored throughout the year. In case of collection of 1 to 5 tons of waste plastic, a project to build a simple plastic dam will be set up in the same Gram Panchayat. There are many rivers and streams as well as streams in the village area. A simple plastic dam will be constructed at a place where the flow of water is 15 to 20 feet wide. The process will be as follows. 1. Space will be allotted for construction of 15 to 20 feet plastic dam in the village area. 2. Carry 10 feet high cement columns and plates. Thus interlock plates, pillars are being used to make the current position a boundary wall. 
In this way simple plastic dams will be constructed to dispose of non-biodegradable waste in an environmentally friendly manner. The most important thing is that there are a lot of small streams, streams, and streams in the village. Therefore, it is possible to build plastic dams in rural areas in this way. Also water conservation work is being done in this place. Plastic dam will play an important role in making clean and beautiful villages in the future. Non-biodegradable waste should be collected by organizing 11 cleaning rounds in a month through village schools. An honorarium of Rs 10 per kg should be paid for the replacement of plastic waste collected through the Gram Panchayat. In this way, awareness about cleanliness will be created in the minds of the students at the student age, waste in the village will be eliminated, stress on the Gram Panchayat will be reduced and it will be an important step towards becoming a Nirmal Gram. Such an idea can come forward through BSK. There will be many villages in India where there may be problems. Lack of proper environment like natural, financial, administrative etc. In such a situation, such villages will collect the plastic and send it to the Talyaka. BSK will work in a network manner. Because in some places waste plastic is abundant and in some places natural conditions. Public support in some places and administrative cooperation in others, but the main objective will be to eradicate non-biodegradable waste. Plastic dam projects to be constructed at village level will be constructed with the approval of village, Talithai, Gram Savak, and Gram Sava. Talyaka level BSK will not interfere in this. It will be mandatory for every village BSK to build a plastic dam every two years. B. Procedures of BSK for Talyaka level waste plastic management. Talyaka level is a developed and more populous city as compared to Gram Panchayat. Therefore, the amount of waste generated is also high. As the Talyaka is a city, waste management at this level is done by the municipal council. Therefore, the office of BSK will be in the municipality of that Talyaka. And its management will be done on municipal waste depots. Municipal council will collect waste plastic within its limits and in return the price will be Rs 10 per kg according to the same weight. The collected plastic waste will be taken to the depot and deposited at BSK's plastic waste treatment plant. The plastic will be recycled at that place and the non-recyclable plastic, non-biodegradable components will be bailing with the help of hydraulic press machine and placed in a specific shed. After the site of construction of dam in that Talyaka is selected by the Tesseldar, the combined plastic will be used for construction of plastic dam. In this way non-biodegradable waste will be composted and used for agriculture. Municipalities at the Talyaka level will look after the work of BSK. Their president will be the Tesseldar. It is mandatory for a municipality to build at least two plastic dams in a year. The work of BSK in all the villages in that Talyaka will be reviewed and monitored by the Panchayat Samatai, but no interference will be allowed in the village level projects. Municipalities at the Talyaka level will collect plastic waste. The construction of plastic dam will be done through the irrigation department under the Panchayat Samatai. C. BSK Procedures for District Level Waste Management There are 718 general districts in India. As the district has mostly development sector, a large amount of plastic waste and non-biodegradable waste is generated. This waste is mixed with biodegradable waste and becomes a heap of waste. An example of this is the Gaza per landfill. Therefore, it is very important to have plastic waste management at the district level. BSK will bring about a radical change in waste management at the district level. Waste in the district will be consolidated with the help of plastic people and municipal corporations. People in the city will not throw out plastic because of the price of waste plastic. But once assembled, it is important to have the infrastructure to carry it. So the corporation S5 vehicles will work to collect only waste plastics in the city. People will give away waste plastic and in return they will be given a token at Rs 10 per kg. After depositing the token in the office of BSK in the corporation, people can get financial benefit at the rate of Rs 10 per kg. The vehicles will then take the waste plastic to the municipal landfill. Waste plastic will be recycled there. 
These include shredding plastics for use in plastic rods, making fuel from plastics, injunction molding machines, WPPM technology etc. Proper recycling of waste plastic will be done at this place. The non-recyclable waste plastic will be compressed and baling with the help of hydraulic press machine. After the plastic integration of the city through the corporation, the work will be done by the irrigation dam of the Zilla Parishad. The collected plastics will be disposed of through a plastic dam. Therefore, water circulation work will also be done. The district BSK will be chaired by the district collector. The city's plastic waste collection will be done. Through the corporation. BSK will have an office at the corporation's premises. Recycling of plastic waste at municipal waste depots can also be made available to the public in the form of tenders. The district collector will have the right to decide that. Thus BSK will start generating jobs for plastic elimination. D. State Level BSK The State Level BSK will be formed in a joint discussion between the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Water Irrigation. BSK's department will work under the Department of Environment. The Ministry will provide financial support for non-biodegradable waste management in the state. According to the details of non-biodegradable waste management and recycling management coming to BSK from the district, the irrigation ministry of that state will determine the fund for construction of regular and prime type of plastic dam for that district. In this way, the work of plastic waste management and water conservation will be taken care of by each state government. E. Procedures of BSK Department at Country Level Waste management, water conservation, and empowerment are the major issues for India. PWCP will be instrumental in bringing about this change. At the national level, the BSK department will be run by a joint exchange of views between the Environment Ministry and the Water Irrigation Ministry. According to the frequency rate of waste collection and plastic dam construction received by the BSK department of each state in the country, the fund will be determined by the BSK at the center for that state. BSK will have a department in the country's environment ministry. Each state in the country will determine the environment ministry fund according to the data provided for non-biodegradable collection and recycling. According to the waste collection data of non-biodegradable waste which cannot be recycled, the Ministry of Water Irrigation will approve plastic dams for the respective states. In this way, there will be extensive work of waste management, water conservation, and empowerment generation in the country. In this way simple plastic dams will be constructed to dispose of non-biodegradable waste in an environmentally friendly manner. The most important thing is that there are a lot of small streams, streams, and streams in the village. Therefore, it is possible to build plastic dams in rural areas in this way. Also water conservation work is being done in this place. Plastic dam will play an important role in making clean and beautiful villages in the future. Non-biodegradable waste should be collected by organizing 11 cleaning rounds in a month through village schools. An honorarium of Rs 10 per kg should be paid for the replacement of plastic waste collected through the Gram Panchayat. In this way, awareness about cleanliness will be created in the minds of the students at the student age, waste in the village will be eliminated, Stress on the Gram Panchayat will be reduced and it will be an important step towards becoming a Nirmal Gram. Such an idea can come forward through BSK. There will be many villages in India where there may be problems. Lack of proper environment like natural, financial, administrative etc. In such a situation, such villages will collect the plastic and send it to the Talyaka. BSK will work in a network manner. Because in some places waste plastic is abundant and in some places natural conditions. Public support in some places and administrative cooperation in others, but the main objective will be to eradicate non-biodegradable waste. Plastic dam projects to be constructed at village level will be constructed with the approval of village, Talithai, Gramsavak, and Gramsava. Talyaka level BSK will not interfere in this. It will be mandatory for every village BSK to build a plastic dam every two years. b. Procedures of BSK for Talyaka level waste plastic management. 
Talyaka level is a developed and more populous city as compared to Gram Panchayat. Therefore, the amount of waste generated is also high. As the Talyaka is a city, waste management at this level is done by the municipal council. Therefore, the office of BSK will be in the municipality of that Talyaka. And its management will be done on municipal waste depots. Municipal council will collect waste plastic within its limits and in return the price will be Rs 10 per kg according to the same weight. The collected plastic waste will be taken to the depot and deposited at BSK's plastic waste treatment plant. The plastic will be recycled at that place and the non-recyclable plastic, non-biodegradable components will be bailing with the help of hydraulic press machine and placed in a specific shed. After the site of construction of dam in that Talyaka is selected by the Tesseldar, the combined plastic will be used for construction of plastic dam. In this way non-biodegradable waste will be composted and used for agriculture. Municipalities at the Talyaka level will look after the work of BSK. Their president will be the Tesseldar. It is mandatory for a municipality to build at least two plastic dams in a year. The work of BSK in all the villages in that Talyaka will be reviewed and monitored by the Panchayat Samatai, but no interference will be allowed in the village level projects. Municipalities at the Talyaka level will collect plastic waste. The construction of plastic dam will be done through the irrigation department under the Panchayat Samatai. C. BSK Procedures for District Level Waste Management There are 718 general districts in India. As the district has mostly development sector, a large amount of plastic waste and non-biodegradable waste is generated. This waste is mixed with biodegradable waste and becomes a heap of waste. An example of this is the Gaza per landfill. Therefore, it is very important to have plastic waste management at the district level. BSK will bring about a radical change in waste management at the district level. Waste in the district will be consolidated with the help of plastic people and municipal corporations. People in the city will not throw out plastic because of the price of waste plastic. But once assembled, it is important to have the infrastructure to carry it. So the Corporation S5 vehicles will work to collect only waste plastics in the city. People will give away waste plastic and in return they will be given a token at Rs 10 per kg. After depositing the token in the office of BSK in the corporation, people can get financial benefit at the rate of Rs 10 per kg. The vehicles will then take the waste plastic to the municipal landfill. Waste plastic will be recycled there. These include shredding plastics for use in plastic rods, making fuel from plastics, injunction molding machines, WPPM technology etc. Proper recycling of waste plastic will be done at this place. The non-recyclable waste plastic will be compressed and bailing with the help of hydraulic press machine. After the plastic integration of the city through the corporation, the work will be done by the irrigation dam of the Zilla Parishad. The collected plastics will be disposed of through a plastic dam. Therefore, water circulation work will also be done. The district BSK will be chaired by the district collector. The city's plastic waste collection will be done through the corporation. BSK will have an office at the corporation's premises. Recycling of plastic waste at municipal waste depots can also be made available to the public in the form of tenders. The district collector will have the right to decide that. Thus BSK will start generating jobs for plastic elimination. D. State Level BSK The state level BSK will be formed in a joint discussion between the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Water Irrigation. BSK's department will work under the Department of Environment. The ministry will provide financial support for non-biodegradable waste management in the state. According to the details of non-biodegradable waste management and recycling management coming to BSK from the district, the irrigation ministry of that state will determine the fund for construction of regular and prime type of plastic dam for that district. In this way, the work of plastic waste management and water conservation will be taken care of by each state government. E procedures of BSK department at country level. 
waste management, water conservation, and empowerment are the major issues for India. PWCP will be instrumental in bringing about this change. At the national level, the BSK department will be run by a joint exchange of views between the Environment Ministry and the Water Irrigation Ministry. According to the frequency rate of waste collection and plastic dam construction received by the BSK department of each state in the country, the fund will be determined by the BSK at the center for that state. BSK will have a department in the country's Environment Ministry. Each state in the country will determine the Environment Ministry Fund according to the data provided for non-biodegradable collection and recycling. According to the waste collection data of non-biodegradable waste which cannot be recycled, the Ministry of Water Irrigation will approve plastic dams for the respective states. In this way, there will be extensive work of waste management, water conservation, and empowerment generation in the country. State Level Environment and Irrigation Ministry Under SBM Department One district through non-biodegradable waste collection and recycle data according a lot fund Environment Ministry Two district through non-biodegradable and non-recyclable waste storage data according a lot fund for plastic dam irrigation ministry Country level Environment and Irrigation Ministry Under SBM Department one state through non-biodegradable waste collection and recycle data according a lot fund environment ministry. Two state through non-biodegradable and non-recyclable waste storage data according a lot fund for plastic dam irrigation ministry. C. Clean city model create for direction for clean India. Sachin Deshmukh wants him to be responsible for the clean India campaign, it will be easy if Sachin Deshmukh will do, suppose clean city model decided for Islampur city. Image minus 7. 1. Model of the plastic waste control project of Islampur will be role model and Islampur area inside waste plastic will be given 10 rupees of plastic, this such in Deshmukh can also be done in any city, if city population is less than 1 lakh. Plastic money gets from the waste, so people will not throw out plastic. The plowed plastic will be collected by the poor people, because they get 10 rupees per kg. Two. A Gantagadi, garbage collector vehicle, will be kept for plugging plastic. After depositing plastic in that garbage, the person will be given money, Rs 10 per kg, in the form of token as per plastic weight. These are zero value plastic waste and every day a person can collect only 5 kilos. When person this token deposited in Islam per municipal council the token according money is gives to a person. 3 gathered plastic waste processed in garbage depot on Bharat Swakta Kendra plant. Here plastic processed with WPPM tech or any other available technologies to create products. Remaining unprocessed plastic convert into compressed baling form with approximately 50 ton hydraulic press machine and use in plastic dam. 4. Created products use in public places like parks, roadside footpath, path in garden islam per municipal council unprocessed waste plastic to created plastic dam automatically use in rain waste conservation 5 if garbage among plastic is out then the other waste biodegradable use as a fertilizer and it will be sold for 4 rupees per kg 6 as like here islam per city become plastic free clean city biodegradable garbage to makes fertilizer Plastic to created products utilized in own municipal council, create sources of rainwater conservation in the form of plastic dam, employment generates for poor peoples. After this clean city model is created, it will be called to copy to all the municipalities of the country. In this, we will have to understand the importance of the cleanliness of the people and 100% of the country will become clean definitely. And this is final step towards cleanliness. Conclusion Plastic pollution has become a major problem for the country and the world at present. He is also being responsible for air, water, and land pollution. Taking a deeper look at this problem, we have invented plastic dam and waste plastic product machine technology. According to WPPM technology we can process plastic using manual, semi-automatic, and automatic machines according to the availability of waste plastics. In this, 
any type of plastic of less than 100 microns is processed without segregation, transforming it into a product. In Plastic Dam, we cycle all types of waste plastic without any air, water, and land pollution. Solution over waste plastic, rainwater conservation and employment generation are becoming feasible through Plastic Dam invention. WPPM technology and Plastic Dam will play the role of plastic waste to wealth conversion and bring an unprecedented revolution in the field of waste management. Plastic Waste Control Project, PWCP, is newly launched program, according to that make formula model of clean city. After become successful model with the help of newly invented and available recycle technologies, copy pest to every city in India, to become clean India. PWCP to possible create business to rag pickers and poor peoples with plastic waste. PWCP based of clean city model, change collection method of plastic waste and Bharat Swakta Kendra. Acknowledgements. This research is supported by the Indian Army, Indian Government and Maharashtra Government. Also the author would like to thank the anonymous referee, S., for their careful checking of the details, valuable suggestions and comments that improve this research paper.